Imagine being diagnosed with cancer long before symptoms appear and beginning treatment before the disease is able to take hold. It may sound like science fiction, but a Vancouver Island researcher is close to turning fiction into reality. CTV's Stephen Andrew has more on what has been up until now, one of the hidden secrets at the University of Victoria. This researcher is holding something precious, a key that could one day allow doctors to diagnose cancer on a small portable device in their office. In its more familiar state, the color of gold is unmistakable, but reduce the metal to minute particles, it changes color. By attaching proteins to the gold nanoprobes in these test tubes, the scientists here at the University of Victoria are working on experiments to diagnose early onset cancer. So you don't have to actually see the symptoms of, 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 of the disease to detect. You detect by, the, by these proteins that you have in the, in, in the blood. The process begins with sculpting infinitesimal channels into a base, much like an electronic transistor. To this, researchers attach a fine coating of gold particles. Once the process is complete, tubes are inserted into the base, blood serum is added, and the base is studied under a laser light. And by the colors that we see on all these different patches, we can tell if the person has a propensity or has leukemia or not. Preliminary results show the system is able to detect proteins found in leukemia. Within the next 12 months, the scientists will begin blind studies to see if they can distinguish regular blood cells from those infected with cancer. Rolo is also looking at wider prospects for his research. By coating solar panels with gold nanoparticles, his team is able to increase the efficiency of solar panels by 10 to 15 percent. The next challenge for us is to get these in a way that's commercially viable, right? Because you can get, I mean, we, we can keep going and, and, and try to improve this a little bit more, but the problem is can you make it something that you can, you can, you can incorporate in a, in, a, in a solar cell and the price still becomes uh, viable for people to to buy. Yeah. Rollo says his work is driven by his fascination for the basics of science, but he acknowledges when practical applications come from those experiments, that is when science becomes truly exciting. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Sandwich.